the second investigation today. So this is what we're going to focus on. So what is the angle sum of any polygon with n sides? That's what we're going to learn. And how do you know that from with uh, the, the, what the formula is? So as we get to the end of this, we'll be answering those questions. So just hang in there. So the learning objective is how can I describe how to find the angle sum of any polygon with n sides? And I can use the angle sum to find missing angles in a triangle and a quadrilateral. So here's the first thing that we are going to do. In part A, you got a you got a, your sheet here. You see a flat line, right? That that flat line has what angle measure? 180 degrees. Good. All right, you got a piece of paper with your shapes on it, right? So what you're going to do, it says using the handout, you're going to cut the corners off the triangle. So what I want you to do is cut the triangle out first, and then go ahead along those dotted lines and cut the corners out. Now, listen to what it says. Arrange the vertices on the lines below. All right, so what you're going to try to do is get to these lines touching, okay, and across the, uh, the line there. All right, so we'll give you guys a few minutes to work on this. We'll pause uh, the, the video, but go ahead and cut your triangle out. Cut on the dotted lines, those corners, and see how you can line them up. All right, let's go. Let me fire this up here. Here's a little helpful hint. On page 45, I'm going to kind of bring it up here on the document camera. All right, so you see how they use the angles here with each of the pieces to construct it on the line? That's how, you're, that's, how you're, that's how your three pieces should look on the line right here from the triangle. Okay? So that will help you. So go ahead and try to construct it just like that. Okay? So use page 45 from your book to help you. All right? Everyone got that? All right. We're going to pause and let you continue to work. So if you put yours together, please go sit. If you put this together, it kind of looks like this, right? So what do you notice? Now remember, these are three sides to a triangle, right? The angles are together, okay? So what angle sum does your work suggest for the triangle? What degree? Because it fits on this line. 180 degrees, right? So explain how you know this. Well, because, again, you put all three angles together, and it forms a straight line, all right? So... We'll just write, when we put all three angles together, it formed a straight line. Okay. Now. Number three, it says using a handout uh, given to cut the corners off the quadrilateral. So next to that, you're going to cut the quadrilateral, the four-sided figure, and arrange the vertices around the point below. Again, use number page 45 in your book to kind of help you. Okay, so now you're going to cut out the quadrilateral. Okay. All right, so go ahead and do so. So... You notice here, all these angles fit around the circle here, right? Well, we know what's the degree of a full circle? 360 degrees, right? So if the angle sum of a quadrilateral, which has four sides, would be 360 degrees, okay? Because, again, when you put all four sides together, it forms kind of a circle, right? Especially it forms around the circle, right? So... When we put all four angles together, it formed a circle. All right. All right, everybody with me? All right, so if you, if, you, if you turn your page, all right, it says, Trevor decided to study polygons with more size, okay? So 
This is still a quadrilateral. What shape is the first one? What shape is this? Five sides. Pentagon. Okay. There's too many people talking right now. How about this figure here, the third one? It's got six sides. Hexagon. So if you notice here, he divided some polygons into smaller triangles by drawing these diagonals from one vertex as shown. So how many triangles are in the pentagon? Three, right? So if we're trying to figure out the angle sum of the pentagon, we know it has three triangles inside, right? Each triangle has what kind of measurement when we put all the angles together from the first page? 180 degrees, right? Each angle, but all three of them total up to be 180. So there'd be 180 here, 180 here, and 180 here. Three triangles, right? All right. So again, if this has this is a five-sided figure, it has three triangles. Right. If you look at the quadrilateral here, it's it's divided up into how many triangles? Two, right? And again, the triangles have sides up totaling 180, right? So here and here. So again, we here here we have four sides and only two triangles. And in the hexagon, we have six sides. How many triangles are in the hexagon? Four, right? Four triangles. So again, those are four, 180. 180, 180, and 180. So again here, if you, if you kind of start to see a pattern here, how could you describe the relationship between the number of sides, 5 to 3, 4 to 2, 6 to 4, and the number and the angle, um, about the angle sub and the num and of any try oh no, I'm in the wrong question. Um, des describe the number of sides of a polygon and the number of triangles formed. Anyone see the pattern? Aiden? Um, it's how many sides are minus two. Yeah, the number of sides is always two more than the number of triangles, right? You see that? He said the he said the triangles are minus two from the sides, right? So the number so the number of sides the number of sides is always two more. Then the number of triangles. Okay. So if we go to our little table below, right, there is a triangle, right? Hang on. I lost my uh, I lost my words. Time out. There we go. All right, everyone got that down for number one? Yep. Okay, so if I scroll down to my table here, right? Okay. So we can fill in this table, right? This is a triangle. Number of sides, how many triangles can you draw inside a triangle? Two. One, right? It's just a triangle. Right, and its sides, its sum, we figured out on the first page was 180 degrees. Right. Now let's take a look at at, the, at this one here. What what shape is this? It's a quadrilateral, but what kind of polygon? Parallelogram. Right, which is also a quadrilateral. Right, we taught, we we've identified that. Right. So that's got four sides to it. How many triangles do you see in there? Two, right? We know that each triangle, right, is 180. So if there are two triangles, the total degree should be 360, right? That form the circle. So now this shape is the pentagon. Okay, that's got five sides. So how many triangles? Three, right? And now, basically, to figure out how the the sum of the sides, right? It's 180 three times, right? There's 180 here, there's 180 here. So you can either add up 180 plus 180 plus 180, 
or take 180 degrees and multiply it by 3. And you get, not 520, 540 degrees is the angle sum of a pentagon. Okay? Now this is continued on the next page, so if we continue this further, all right, six-sided figure is called a hexagon. And there's how many triangles in a hexagon? Four, right? Because it's two less than the number of sides, right? So yeah, how do we figure out the angle sum of a hexagon? Maria? Maria? Well, let's, see, let's go with the number of triangles. How many, how many degrees are in a, uh, um, for the three angles in a triangle? And there's how many triangles in here? So if we took 180 times 4, that would give us 720 degrees. Very good. All right, now we've got the next figure, which is a heptagon, seven-sided figure. So again, knowing our little rule that we came up with, right? How many triangles are in a heptagon? Five, because they're two less than the sides, right? And again, we can figure this out by, if we have five triangles at 180, we're going to multiply 180 times five, and that is 900. Very good. Okay. Last but not least, we have the famous octagon. So how many triangles can we draw in an octagon if it has eight sides? Anthony? Six, because it's two less. So to figure it out, we needed to go 180 times six, and that angle sum would be, anyone? 1,080 degrees. All right, so in this table, it says, how do the number of sides in a polygon compare to the number of triangles we drew? Well, we just kind of came up with that, right? The number of triangles equals the number of sides, right, minus 2. And then it says, using Trevor's method of dividing polygons into smaller triangles, how does knowing the angle sum of any triangle help you determine the angle sum of any polygon? So how do we figure all these sums out in the table? What do we do? What do we do in the table, Martina? Tr number of triangles, okay. And then what do we do? Exactly. So we took the number of triangles, right, which are how many, and we multiplied it by 180 to get the angle sum. And again, we use that 180 because the sum of the three triangles, or the sum of, sum of three angles in a triangle is 180. So drawing the triangles were easy in those figures. All right. Everybody with me? All right. We're going to finish up this one problem here, and then we're going to... So it says here, Trevor wrote the equation that would relate the angle sum S to the number of sides N shown below. How is the equation related to your table? Well, obviously S, right? is going to equal your angle sum, right? What does the 180 in the equation mean? What does that, how'd that get there? All right, that's the, that's the sum of the angles in a triangle, right? And what about the n minus 2? 
What does that stand for? The n minus 2. What is that telling you? When it says n minus 2. How do we figure, what do we get when we subtract a 2? What do we actually get? We subtract a 2 from the number of sides. Right, this is how many triangles, oops, how many triangles can be drawn in the polygon? The n is the number of sides, and we subtracted 2 to find the number of triangles, right? All right, so we're going to stop right here. I'm going to pause this thing. Pause this thing.